Hi, it's Diogenes Lamp again. It's been a while. This is a quick tip on removing a brake, rear brake caliber on a 1980 Porsche 911 SC. Okay, the upper one is simple to get out. You know, you just put the, the your, your half inch, you know, breaker bar or socket, whatever, and that comes right out. The bottom one, on the other hand, this is the, well, this is the top one, but they look the same. The bottom one, you can't get from the bottom. You can't get from the top with with a with a breaker bar. Um, so what I try to do is I try to first remove the brake line, which is in the way. If you get the brake line off, then you can get a you know you know a, a wrench and swing it in there. Not a problem. Guess what? You're you're gonna, not going to get your 11 millimeter or 7 sixteenths wrench in there to turn it. It will not. You cannot get it in there. It will not. You might be able to get it in there to snug it but you're not gonna get in there to unwind it. It's just not happening, it's just very bizarre. So anyway, I came up with this. Okay, so first of all, you don't have the clearance for a half inch. You gotta go down to a 3 8 inch, or no, a 3 8 inch drive, 19 millimeter socket, and it better be uh, one of these. It's, you know, one of the, um, the, the, the impact sockets because you'll probably break a uh, regular one with the, how you gotta lean on this. Then you initially get it in you could you could fit it in with a breaker bar because the breaker bar head is actually too wide to put a uh, uh, any type of a ratchet on there. So this breaker bar, and plus you're going to lean on it so hard, you would probably blow out blow out the the, uh, the gears. All right, so you have that on there. That will get in from the top, but believe me, you you ain't leaning on this hard enough. My eyeballs almost popped out when I tried to lean on this. So what I did is I I cheated and I got one of these and I stuck it on the end like this and did the old Watutsi and, 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 and really leaned on it. To, again, my eyeballs started to bulge a little bit and that, that popped right and it went, and it went bup, 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 and that was it. Now, once you got that out, this is a, a nice little item. It's a socket set cap set. So what you do then is you take your, your, your socket, you get your socket set, set cap jobby in there because you, got, you still can't get your ratchet in there. You put that on the end Okay, so that's what this is, a KD socket sack cap, cap set. And, and then you come over to here to your gear wrench, 15 mil, and that's that gives you enough offset to get in there. And look at this, that's, that's some bad video, sorry about that. And then you turn this, and it gives you enough offset to get it out, and it'll just click on out. Anyway, that's, that's how I did it. Um, uh, to be honest with you, there must be a special tool, something like this with a built-in offset, something like that, that you get in there and do it with because you're not getting even a 3 8 inch drive ratchet in there. No way. And if you did, you'd have to lean on it so hard you'd blow it out, you know, and, or put it this way. If you don't blow it out, you'd, you'd definitely mess it up a little bit. You'd, you know, ruin it or weaken it. But uh, anyway, that's how I did it. I got it loose and uh, just it took me a little bit of time to figure this out. So I figured I'd make it easy and just mention it. Anyway... Subscribe, share, thumbs up, keeps the channel going. Thanks so much. Have a great holiday. Bye now.